In tonight's Health Watch, a major development for cancer patients in need of radiation therapy. It's partly for the amazing technology. Proton shot into a tumor at nearly the speed of light. But CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez is here to tell us it's also because of who is bringing it to the patients. Doctor. That's right. And these are three major medical centers that are normally very competitive with each other. More on that later. But protons, you know, are a very different type of radiation therapy. They are heavy particles as opposed to the x-rays normally used. And that makes them more expensive. But but also less troublesome. It was about a year and a half ago that Larry Giamarco's PSA level came back elevated, which led to... Uh, I did have a biopsy, yes. What they found? Uh, they found out that I had prostate cancer. Uh, I had a, with a 3 plus 4 Gleason score of a 7, which meant that I needed some form of treatment was recommended. Larry opted for radiation, but not conventional external beam radiation. He chose proton therapy. I think uh, based on my age and the quality of life, side effects uh, came into play and I thought that that was the best option for me at that time. Protons lead to better quality of life because protons cause fewer side effects than x-rays. Traditional radiation goes in, hits the tumor, but then keeps going out the other side. So a lot of normal tissues are exposed to radiation and that's where patients can get side effects. Proton therapy is much more precise. It hits the target and then completely stops. So now there's no radiation beyond the tumor. Larry had proton therapy at the Sloan Kettering Center in Somerset, New Jersey. But as of a couple of months ago, he could have come to this gleaming New York proton center. It's a $300 million state-of-the-art facility taking up an entire city block in East Harlem. To share that cost, it's a consortium of Memorial Sloan Kettering, Mount Sinai, and Montefiore. The chief of head and neck radiation at Sloan Kettering explained that protons can be used against virtually any cancer. Brain tumors, when you don't want to treat the normal brain in um, pediatric cancers. Now, breast proton radiation minimizes also heart and lung damage in that case. Proton therapy is about a third more expensive than conventional radiation, but in most cases, insurance covers it. That's partly because of the reduced radiation damage to normal tissues, but also because studies are beginning to show that, may, uh, that it may actually be more effective than x-rays. And the three centers also ensures that they've got plenty of patients that they can actually work on and, and come through. And again, especially, for example, with pediatric patients, it's all about minimizing that damage to normal tissue. You still want to hit the tumor, kill the tumor, mm -hmm. but you don't want to do all that collateral, to have all yeah. that collateral damage. Right. Pinpoint accuracy. Here. Exactly. All right, doctor, thank you. you